So hey guys, today I am going to be doing my favourites. I don't remember the last time I did one of these. I may have done one at the end of January, can't quite remember. But anyway, I've got a favourites for you all. I've also got um, the puppies in here. If you don't watch my vlogs, my dog had puppies. I have them in here. There is one, oh you can't see her. Come here, you want to be on camera. I know you do, come here. This is little Miss Orange. Um, she's coming to, she's staying with us. She is our puppy. Um, yeah, yeah. So they're all in here. So if you hear noises, squeaking, if you see the door suddenly open and Tilly run in, she has decided that she wanted a break from them, but she may come back at any point. So yeah, squeaking and stuff. It's not me. Come back in. Come on. So yeah, sorry if that's really annoying. Um, I'm by myself in the house today, so I have to look after them. So yes, favourites. Could you please be quiet, Miss Orange? Do you want to come out? I'm not sure what she wants. I've got a bunch of favourites today. I've got skincare, I have got toothpaste, I have got makeup. So I'm going to start with the makeup because I feel like that's what most of you will be interested in. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And then I'm going to go through to the other stuff. So first things first, on my eyes today, I have got the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. I've wanted this for so long. Um, I've got the Cool Neutrals one, uh, but this one was so hard to get a hold of for a while. Boots restocked it, and I managed to get my hands on it. It's beautiful. It's one of those palettes where you can create so many looks out of it and you don't need anything else. It costs £16, and I need my puppy back. Just sit in my lap. You sit in my lap? Is that okay? Okay, she's sitting in my lap now. Apparently that's that's much better than being on her own. So, yes. So it costs £16. Boots have recently restocked it, but um, I don't know where you can get it on Selfridges and a couple of other places, but Boots have just, like, it's just come back. So um, probably try and get it from there if you're in the UK. I think you can get it in, like, the actual NYX stands as well, but um, it's just beautiful. Um, the shadows aren't, like, outstanding quality they're not quite like urban decay but they are pretty good and there's a nice mixture of mattes and shimmers and you can get so many different looks out of this and i'm in love with it so a favorite that i talk about almost all the time but i haven't done one of these for a while so i thought i'd just quickly mention it freedom brow promade um this is how i do my eyebrows i love it i do want to probably try a different kind of brow mr blue can you please be quiet thank you I am interested in trying a different brow promade, um, one of a different brand, just a higher end one, just to compare it. But for now, this one I really like, and I use the shade Blonde. Another one of those products that I always talk about, but I just wanted to quickly mention, just because I haven't done one of these in a while, is the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue. This is my go-to primer. Sometimes I just put this on and nothing else, and um, I just I really enjoy it. It makes my makeup last a lot longer. It does help um, keeping my skin like less oily um but yeah i just really like it it's one of those go-to products and i've already got my next one i thought i'd quickly mention this as it's another product from benefit um my mascara i've been using at the moment is roller lash i never thought i would like this when i like read all the reviews and stuff i was like oh this is not gonna work for me not my like not right i've not got the right eyelashes and i don't know i just never was that interested in it but i got this little mini a while ago in a love me beauty box and I ran out of mascara, so I thought I had to try this out, and I've been really enjoying it. It's a little bit more clumpy than I would like. Um, it's a bit more clumpy than I would like, but it gives a good amount of volume still. What do you want? Good amount of volume still, and it's very black, and makes my eyelashes look pretty nice. It's a nice amount of um, lengthening and voluming, volumizing. You know, it's not one more than the other sort of thing. That's a good good balance between the two and this little sample's lasted me quite a while. What I was thinking about the other day is why do we buy mascaras in such large quantities if we don't, I never finish one in three months. If we're supposed to get rid of them every three months, why don't we buy little ones? Because this one will probably last me a good two, three months. Um, I'm not the sort of person to lay a mascara or anything, but I guess if you did that you'd probably use a bigger amount, but I just don't. I don't ever go through it, so... Why don't we buy? I might start trying to buy smaller bottles because I feel like I never go through the big ones in time and then it's supposed to be like bad and bacteria build up and all of that jazz, but yeah. Anyway, on my lips is actually one of these, this is my like go-to lip colour at the moment. This is Jeffree Star um, Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gemini. I wear this almost every day that I wear makeup. This and this NYX palette 
they just go together like heaven. I think I've actually like broken the clasp because it comes undone really well, uh, really easily. Don't know how I've done that, but I think it has broken somehow. Oops, I think I've probably just worn it out. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this and you can get it on like Beauty Bay. I think it's Beauty Bay you can get it on and they're about £16 each, but sometimes, sometimes there's deals. Um, I got a deal on the Christmas collection, it was like reduced, but you don't get deals very often on these. But anyway, yeah, love this. I really like the formula. It's quite long, it's not as long lasting this particular shade as some of the other ones. Um, Androgyny is quite similar, but it's a little bit um, cooler and that lasts longer but this is really similar to the NYX soft matte, no, NYX, what is it called, lip lingerie in shade 4 but it's a little bit warmer so I really like this because it lasts longer than that and it's a similar shade but I actually prefer the shade and yeah, all of that. For a base, what I have been using a lot at the moment is this Kiko BB cream in the shade 2 Natural. I just really like this, it's one of the ones that comes out um, white and then it's got like the beads that burst as you rub it into your skin and all of that jazz. Um, but I just really enjoy using it, it's a nice amount of coverage, it's not super light. Um, the colour is quite a good match for my skin tone. Um, it doesn't last that well, that would be my only complaint is that I think the lasting power is pretty poor. But you get quite a lot in here, well you get 30 mils but it feels like you get a lot because you don't have to use very much and it's just really easy to use and I think it's quite, uh, it says foundation treatment with moisturising ingredients, ultra natural effect. I would say it's an ultra natural effect, it just kind of gives you a little bit, little bit of something. Mr Blue, what are you moaning about? He's literally just asleep. My viewer is not going to be happy with these noises. So another thing I've been using, not really with that BB cream because I feel like it looks a bit weird um, because of the coverage difference, is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have this in the shade Light Warm and I really, really like this. It's so high coverage that it actually looks weird, I think, with a BB cream because I have like areas of super high coverage and then the rest of my face is pretty low coverage. So I only tend to use this with foundation. I've been using, I've used it today, but I find that it works best under foundation. I don't know why, and it works best with a sponge. I am not a sponge person at all. Like I do not ever use sponges to apply my makeup. I have one of the Real Techniques ones and I've been using that um, slightly dampened to apply this because I feel like it works better that way. Sometimes with a brush I find it kind of cling to it like bits a bit weirdly around here. I've got a couple of like, I've got like some baby hairs and it always clung to that and I just did not like that about it. But since I've been doing that, I've really enjoyed it again. The packaging is just like flawless. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And the applicator, in case you haven't seen, I know this is quite a cult product, but some people might not have seen, is this Dof... Dof I was going to say Dofinoir. It's a Dofa applicator. And yeah, I really, really like it. I kind of wish it was like a shade... Is there a shade lighter? I'm not sure. I kind of feel like I want a shade lighter just to make it really brightening under my eyes. But I might mix it with some of the Body Shop light, um, the shade adjusting drops um, in the lightening one and see if that does what I want. The last makeup product I've got to talk to you about is from L'Oreal and it's the True Match Highlighter. I've got a hair in my mouth. In the shade 30... 302... Ro icy glow is this one and I saw this in the shop and I was like oh it's just one of those annoying highlighters that like brands just like rush to bring out and I thought it looked cheap and I didn't think it looked good and then I swatched it it is just beautiful you can see my glow that is like the tiniest amount of this shade here. I use this one all the time and then if it's like an evening I'll use the white one. I don't really use the blue that much. I think I've used it a couple of times but it's totally, totally worth it just for this shade here. Um, I feel like it was about £8, might be more like 7 I can't quite remember. It also has a little bit of the bottom with a mirror and a brush which I actually did not realise until I'd owned this for a good month. Um, which, uh, I'll be honest, I've never, never used it. I've never even taken the brush out of the packaging. Um, but it's kind of nice to know. Like the other day I took a little stuff in a makeup bag and then realised I didn't have any products with a mirror. Suddenly remembered this had a mirror so I could do my makeup. Um, but yeah, I just love this. It's not a subtle glow. Not at all. If you want a subtle glow, don't buy this. But if you're really into a really icy highlight, this is perfect. It's beautiful. Um, this one, I would say, the white one has got a bit of kind of like glitter. It's not chunky. There is just... 
it's just like a little bit more chalky. I prefer the formula of this one. This is like the pinkier one. It's not even really pinky. They both look white. I would just say that the white one, which is swatched on the top, has got like a little bit more glitter to it. Swatch the blue one. The blue one is more obviously blue. You can see the blue ones on top. It kind of looks more silver. Oh, are you barking now? Who's barking? And now I've got a puppy on my lap and highlighter all over my fingers. How am I going to do this? I've got to wash my hands before I can touch them. Hmm. Had to change the battery pack and had to put the puppy back. I think we're all okay now. I think the puppies have settled. But yes, this I got in my advent calendar from ASOS. My eyes just, I have really dark under eyes and I don't think this helped that. It does say that it's supposed to soothe and brighten and lift. I do get quite, um, I get like fine lines under my eyes and they're still there, but they definitely have been improved from this, this cream. I just find that my eyes feel so dehydrated sometimes and I actually think my eyes themselves haven't been as dry. I used to get quite dry eyes. I think this has helped them. I don't know if that's possible, but um, yeah, I just really like it. I found, I've actually found I've gone through quite a lot of this quite quickly. Um, I don't know whether I've been using more than I need to or what, but I had a simple eye cream and it, I, I've still got tons left, whereas this is getting a little bit, a little bit low. So yeah, I really recommend this if you're on the market for an eye cream. I don't know how much it's worth, but because I came in my advent calendar, so I don't know the price, but um, it's quite nice if you feel like your eyes just need a little bit of extra care and if you get really puffy eyes in the morning this is good for them. Spots! I get terrible spots. I've got so much foundation on today so you don't see them but this is my only spot treatment cream. This is the spot bible spot. This is everything I use to fix my spots. This is the clean and clear advantage spot control treatment gel. This is everything. This, this gel. This is the only only product that will clear my skin. Only product that I have ever tried. Ever. This is amazing. I put this on before I go to bed on a spot and I'll wake up in the morning and it will be half the size. Like literally I will put it on a fresh spot and it will be like nearly gone. Sometimes you know really big active ones mm, I don't put this on them because it stings but like it's this this stuff works. Um, I've tried the moisturiser version of this and the face wash, they're both pants, this is the only product in the range that is worth buying, in fact this is the only product worth from Clean and Clear worth buying in my opinion, I've never tried a good product from them. If there is a good product and you think I need to try it, let me know, I'm always up for trying new skincare products, actually am I using, what am I using at the moment, is that really good? I don't know, I don't think it is. But yeah, really love this, if you have trouble with spots and you can't find a treatment gel or a cream to get rid of them, try this, it's better than all the medicated ones, every one I was prescribed by my prescri prescribe, prescri prescri prescribed, prescribed, every one that my doctor gave me didn't work as well as this, so yes, highly recommend this, and it's like £4 and you only need a tiny bit, lasts you forever, often on offer, get it. Finally, I have this wonderful L'Oreal Pure Clay Purity Mask. I also really love this mask. This, I find, calms my spots down really nicely. Um, I use it, like, quite often. I would just put it around, like, a, like where a man gets a beard. I'd kind of put it there, um, just because this is my main problem area. Um, I have got a little bit of my forehead, but it is mainly, like, this area here. So quite often, I would just put a bit on um, after I've had a shower or a bath or something. I'm trying to show you it. It looks like this. And I'll just leave it until it dries, it's about 10 minutes or so, and then I'll take it off. And I just feel like my skin is so much calmer after I use it. Um, I don't know about how if it purifies my skin, but it makes my spots feel a little bit nicer and not so sore. And I really like it. It's about £5 for this tub. They say you get like 10 applications, no, I don't even know. They say you get like 8 applications or something. You get way more than that. I have probably used this nearer 20 times now, and there's still good half of it left so I would probably say it's more use it until it's like not supposed to be open anymore how often 12 months so yeah I've probably got a little bit longer I've probably got another four months left on this I'd say before I should probably throw it away but yeah love that as always I've just stopped filming and realized I've forgotten to show you something toothpaste this is my favorite toothpaste at the moment Colgate max white toothpaste 
I do not want pearly white teeth, but I want them to be slightly less yellow than they are, and this I have found has helped them a lot. I used to have it in the tube form, but I went into Boots the other day to buy it, and I saw that they had this, and it's cheaper to buy it like this, like more expensive at first, but it's cheaper per millage to buy it like this. So, no, I think it was just cheaper in general to buy this. Um, and this is so cool, it's like one of these you put, that was a really ugly face. You push down on this um, toothpaste squirts out there and it's like goes up at the bottom so you get all the product out. Um, but yeah, this is just a really nice, subtle whitening toothpaste and it tastes pretty good and my teeth feel clean after I use it and I never have any problems at the dentist. So I'd recommend this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my favourites and I'm really sorry about the little puppy squeakies at the beginning of the video. hope that wasn't too distracting for you and I hope the cute video of the puppy made it better for you. If you do want to see any more pics up of puppies, check out my links down below. Vlog channel, there's going to be loads on the puppies. I'm a little bit behind on the vlogs at the moment but I'm getting there and on my Instagram and on my dog's Instagram. Tons. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye!